Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and god damn it, that Blackwing deck profile got over 300 likes, so I had to consider playing this deck for a goddamn video. Uh, and I'm not gonna enjoy this. <laughs> I can already tell you, straight out of the gate, I'm not gonna enjoy this at all. One, because people pointed out all the things that were just kind of like really questionable about this list, which I honestly felt was questionable at the time as well. Uh, when I made the deck profile, but I just didn't want to really put too much input onto it because I haven't done like any sort of testing with Black Wings in years, literal years. So I didn't feel like inputting my uh, my thought processes into card choices was going to be the best bet for like uh, making the deck better. But still, like a lot of what people said in the comments of that video uh, and the people that talked to me on my Facebook fan page and all that sort of stuff, they all sort of their thought processes went in line with what I was thinking for the deck as well. Um, as far as how things were uh, progressing with how it was built, but overall, I'm just playing the list as it was sent to me uh, because I mean, there's no reason for me to change anything because I'm not that invested in Black Wings. Um, I might do another video uh, like tweaking the deck around or something, or like tweak the deck and then play a different dual video for it. Not at all sure, but overall, welcome, 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 welcome to yet another battle at table 500 apparently because I'm just whoo I'm gonna be playing this table 500 deck and I'm gonna be absolutely not enjoying the time that I'm gonna be spending doing so but let's not waste any more time let's jump straight into the uh, to the games that are gonna get played and overall let me know what your thoughts are on uh, rogue decks and stuff like black wings in the comments down below and if you have any decks that you're interested in um, that are of this sort of category that you'd like me to play and you want to send me deck lists to them then just send a deck list to my uh, to my email or my Facebook fan page both are linked in the description the email is probably the best way to get me to respond to it and look at it though uh, but if you want to chat with me about it the fan page is the best way to talk to me about it uh, as like in general so like you can talk to me through the fan page but then emailing me the file through email is just easier to access and all that sort of nonsense but anyway with that out of the way let us jump straight into this, uh, into this, <laughs> this, uh, sure to be shit show, then, uh, shall we? Alright, so going into the first game, I get to start, and look at my amazing Blackwing hand, right, guys? At least the Panaki is a searcher, so I can set Panaki with two traps and pass. Uh, now, arguably, I could have done instant fusion to just put a Raikiri on the board immediately, and then, you know, things could have happened from there. There actually might be some uh, worth into uh, using Panaki with like more instant fusions uh, to like use instant fusion for like fusionist or something like that. I can't remember if uh, if all of the black wings require just non tuners like generic non tuners that, that don't require uh, specific black wings. Uh, but if you're able to like instant fusion into fusionist with like Panaki or Gale and uh, be able to make like no thumb, that seems like a, a worthwhile interaction to put like instant fusion up to three in the deck. Uh, but there is one change that I made to this deck overall um, between the deck list portion and playing this video. Uh, I put a uh, second No Thung in the extra deck because Jesus Christ, in the few games that I playtested with this deck, Double No Thung came out a ton of times and Levier came up zero times because when are you ever going to have two threes on the board and not just be going for No Thung? So, uh, so I cut the Levier and put a second No Thung in. Uh, that is the only change I've made to this deck between the deck list that you saw in the earlier portion of this video. And uh, playing it, but so I'm playing it's ABC. Uh, like it just—it seems like I didn't. Th this deck can't handle Zoo. This deck can't handle any deck that's doing the fusion substitute, draw three, draw five, or draw seven play. Uh, let's be completely real. Uh, but this deck is definitely one of those ones where it's just like you could try to play against ABC, I guess. Uh, even though ABC just has a better version of Black Whirlwind in their deck that is also a six of. I mean, Union Hanger is just an infinitely better Black Whirlwind, but. As you can see, I just got absolutely destroyed game one, uh, even though I opened, like, searcher double traps. And so, my No Thung keeps getting Ghost Ogred. This is pissing me off. <laughs> no Thung activates to burn for eight, and it gets Ghost Ogred. Uh, but there's Union Hanger, there's the better Black Whirlwind. Uh, it's literally Black Whirlwind plus a Black Wing in one card, and there's six of it versus three Black Whirlwinds. So, that's where you just sort of start getting issues into, uh, into, the, into the mix, because... You have Black Whirlwind, which you can abuse with No Thung plays. I, I'm completely aware, but you also just have to, uh, you have to have uh, the Whirlwind, <laughs> and that's a three of, not a six of, like Union Hanger. And Union Hanger is a one card play. Uh, you don't need the monster. You literally search the monster off Union Hanger and then get a plus one. Um, I discussed this in the deck profile uh, that I did as a separate video. Like Union Hanger and Magic Meltdown are just better copies of Black Whirlwind, and are at higher quantities. Hell. Even Dragon Ravine is, is, is like in essence just a better Black Whirlwind because you don't require to have the monster. It's something that is a higher quantity played than Whirlwind and it also gets you access into the card that you're looking for. But so I'm just getting absolutely rip stomped 
Um, as you can see, there's double ABC Dragon Buster on the board, and uh, I'm just not having a good time. Like this Blackwing deck is uh, is not doing the business, uh, not doing the business. But uh, so third game, I go first again. Uh, I summon Panaki, special my Chris, make Armor Master to pressure him because I have the Dimensional Barrier, which I can use to call Fusion Orc Seas, whatever is more uh, relevant to the situation. And basically, I'm basically trying to pressure him with the Raikiri and the Armor Master both having to be outed. Um, but if he's not able to out either of them, then it's just going to be really good for me. But so luckily, he Twin Twisters my uh, Dimensional Barrier, and I just call Fusion because he discards the Seed. And he summons A, equips B, and uh, can't exceed because he has no way to put another level 4 monster on the board. And then he ends his turn with no traps. And so I just get to start my turn using Raikiri, doing all this stuff, going into a Brio, and then using my Zephyros, and then, oh my god, is this a Blackwing OTK in 2017? No, it's an OTK! But still, doesn't mean the deck's good. Literally, that was the perfect storm of events that had to happen for me to make an OTK happen, and it just happened to happen. We like absolutely <laughs> like he opened no way to make a rank four to answer the D barrier. He could have literally made like Castell and spun my uh, my Raikiri, or made like Utopia the Lightning and killed my Raikiri, uh, or my uh, or yeah my Raikiri. But Raikiri would have been able like been able to be brought back off so high at that point. But still, then he had no traps on top of that. So then I had literally the perfect hand to kill him. Like this, that's not a result. That's just some bullshit. <laughs> that's, that's all that is. Uh, but so at least Blackwing's got a game. It was better than I was expecting it to do, uh, considering that it's such a table 500 deck. Uh, but so from here, as you can see, I'm dealing with double ABC Dragon Buster. I got max seed, so I just ended my turn with the Panaki. He blinds uh, Twin Twistered my face down Raigeki that I set as a bluff, and like a Solemn Strike, if I remember correctly. It was like, it was something real. And I have the Icarus Attack left, but he plays his turn out respecting Icarus Attack in 2017. I've got to give. Demol super props because he respects Icarus attack like a man like people in 2010 wouldn't respect Icarus attack and then they would get mad that they kept losing to it they'd be like fuck this Blackwing deck you keep getting Icarus attack it's like you could have respected Icarus attack you could have played around it um, like people in that time pe period of Yu-Gi-Oh didn't respect Icarus attack but now in 2017 my opponent is and he's just <laughs> slaughtering me because of it uh, because I could have Icarus attacked with a uh, Panaki gotten a search and you know that would have been one of those key plus ones that I talked about in the deck profile uh, where like the Blackwing deck was characterized by getting key plus ones over the course of turns and that would define the game state but that's just something that's too slow for modern Yu-Gi-Oh but anyway I get to go first I set a Kalut and I, uh, and I set three he has Twin Twister I have Imperial Order so this is gonna be one of those games if you know what I'm saying but so I could have normal summoned Zephyros there and then special Chris and put more pressure on board but I feel like I held the Zephyros specifically for like if I drew something like Gale or something and Chris got outed or if my board got outed or something like that it just felt like it was better to hold it but carrying on I'm able to do some plays where I normal summon Zephyros and make four strikes search for Chris make Castell after I attack into his C spin his C and now my Imperial Order is back face down so I'm not constantly paying for it every standby phase until it just kills itself so I'm pressuring him a bit more because this Imperial Order is literally going to stay face down until he activates another key spell like that Union Hanger and then I basically just got a three turns worth of economy and like life point gain out of it because I didn't have to pay for his standby phase but so I'm literally just forcing forcing monsters down his down on his board pressuring him doing all that sort of stuff I still have some really good traps like the Icarus attack um, in my uh, in my disposal and all that sort of stuff but Literally, Black Wings are not what's winning this game right now. It's that Imperial Order. Let's be real. With that Imperial Order on the board at this point, my play could have literally been, with no monsters left on the field, I summon Dark Magician, declared direct attack. That could have been the entirety of my play string. That could have been what I did to win the game. Any vanilla with more than 2,000 attack would have been just as fine as all of those Blackwing plays that I made and would have been just as effective at closing the game out. Like, that's ridiculous. Imperial Order is a fucked up card and it should not be legal in the game. I don't know why it is because we've replaced Floodgates with Floodgates, apparently. Apparently that's how, apparently that's how Yu-Gi-Oh is meant to be played and is going to be played going into the future. But yeah, like, I'm surprised that Blackwing's got two games. One game was purely Blackwing's getting it. 
let's be real, that game three was super spice. Like, the Blackwing OTK in 2017, that one was pretty alright, but like I said, at the time, that was a perfect storm of events that happened. That was literally everything going right. I was able to open with a board that pressured my opponent, I had a barrier so that he couldn't do anything on his turn, and then I was able to just not have to deal with trap cards because he had none, and that's literally all that that amounted to. And then I was able to kill him because I was able to use Brianak to out his last card on board. And the card I discarded for Brianak just happened to be Zephyros, which put an additional 1600 damage on board. Like, that was that was the most ridiculous thing. But anyway, as always, guys, thanks for watching and let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. Be sure to like and subscribe and check out the links in the description to my Facebook and Patreon pages. If you want to help support me directly, then Patreon is the best way to do so. It also gets you access into a monthly raffle giveaway at the end of each month. So definitely check out the details on that over on Patreon. At the end of this month, I'm giving away a couple of sealed boxes of uh, Duel of Saga to some of the people that are helping me out because I just like to say thanks, you know? But other than that, if you're looking to buy or sell cards while also indirectly supporting the channel, then be sure to check out Second Chance Gaming's website, which is also linked in the description. They are a direct sponsor of me and this channel, and I'm a big fan of how they do business with what I've experienced thus far. Definitely check out their site and let them know that Phoenix sent you if you're trying to acquire any cards. But other than that, that's it for this video. If you have a deck that you'd like to send in for a possible Table 500 duel, <laughs> all that sort of stuff, then definitely send it to either my Facebook fan page in a message form, which is in the description, or send it to my email address, which is also in the description, and I will definitely take a look at it. I may not play it, but I will definitely take a look at it. But other than that, thanks. that's it for this video. Thanks for watching again, guys. Thanks for your time, and as usual, take care. I'll see you in the next video.